this is a warning to whoever is watching this video if you don't want people to eat you up don't wear this please hi guys welcome to my youtube channel this is bella's perfume diaries my name is bella if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in thank you for the likes the shares the comments thank you for helping this channel grow if this is your first time of watching perfume diaries bella's perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes we document everything you need to know about perfumes so take a glass of wine sit relax and keep watching i'm going to be talking about five seductive perfumes in my collection i've gotten a lot of, of requests on um seductive perfumes for ladies it seems girls are just very anxious to feel sexy and seductive i got you guys i got you covered that's why i'm doing this video if you have any seductive perfume in your, in your collection please comment in the comment section so without wasting much time let's jump right into it the first seductive perfume i'm going to start with is an og i'm sure every lady has this fragrance in their in their fragrance collection because apart from the fragrance being sexy the bottle embodies femininity makes you classy and chic and the fragrance that i'm talking about is no other than can you guess good girl by carolina herrera funny how this fragrance is named good girl but this this girl ain't good she's a good girl gone bad it's an old sexy fragrance i'm just kind of starting from my old sexy fragrance to my recent sexy fragrances but this is always always going to make it to the list of sexy fragrances because it is sexy you just can't deny that so i'm just quickly going to describe what this fragrance smells like and run down through the notes so you have an idea of what the fragrance is so this is um good girl by carolina herrera um, it has main accords of white floral, warm spicy, sweet vanilla, cacao, amber, tuberose, woody, almond, powdery. Um, it's described as an amber floral fragrance. Um, it has a top note of almond, coffee, bergamot, lemon. It has middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, sandbag, orange blossom, orris, and Bulgarian rose. And then it has base notes of tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood, patchouli, cinnamon, and cedar. This fragrance is packed with a lot of notes and I use this perfume like way back 2015 and I was obsessed with it. It's very mass appealing. It's very distinctive as well. When you spray, people already know that, okay, this person is around or this person just left this place that kind of vibe so it's very unique i get almond in the top of this fragrance and that tuber so it dries down into floral composition this is not your typical floral fragrance or your typical fruity fragrance it's just very unique very different from what you have smelled or what you're used to and it's just very sexy it's something that men love if you want to smell sexy and unique you can try carolina hair a good girl i mean even if you don't want to smell sexy like just look at this bottle it's sexy it's seductive it's sensual it's just it just checks everything for me it checks all the boxes for me and even if it's an old fragrance it is still popping in 2021 it's still an og in 2021 so that's good girl by carolina herrera number five spot on my sexy fragrance for ladies number four is another og fragrance i there's no how this fragrance would have not made it to my sexy fragrance list there's no how because even though a lot of people are just tired of the spatula fragrance because it's everywhere like literally almost everybody uses it, uses it it still maintains that you know number one spot for me like it's still top notch it's still up there and the fact that this fragrance is unisex so it's sexy for a guy sexy for a girl as well but if a girl wears this factor fragrance it just gives off rich boss sexy womanly vibes you know and the fragrance is no other than baccarat rouge 543 
the funny thing is this is my second bottle of this fragrance i remember last year i was obsessed like if you haven't seen my previous videos of perfume diaries um i did it on my igtv go through them you know how, how much i talked about this fragrance a lot of times and i was just so obsessed with this fragrance because it just it was just mind-blowing it did everything for me it was long-lasting it was beast mode projection and it is not offensive in any way at all so i'll just quickly describe what this fragrance smells like so this fragrance is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Cut John. If you're a per perfume person and you don't know what this perfume or even if you're not a perfume person and you don't know this, this fragrance, Baccarat Rouge 540, what are you spraying exactly? Because this perfume is everywhere literally and if you haven't tried this perfume, like people have enjoyed the good things in this life. Don't you like to enjoy good things in this life? You need, to, you need to get this fragrance ASAP. Main accords of this fragrance is woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, animalic, fresh, conifer. So um, it is described as an amber floral fragrance that explains everything. So the top notes are saffron and jasmine, which is what I get at the very top of this fragrance. Um, the middle notes are amber wood and amber green. The base notes are fear, resin, and cedar. I don't know what that is. This fragrance is basically an amber floral fragrance. It's very sensual. It's very long lasting. It projects bismol projection. It's the kind of perfume that you wear out and it, it leaves a lasting, a long lasting impression. It just gives you this, I have my shit together. I'm rich and i don't care what anybody says about me you know that kind of vibes it just really embodies this feminine gives you charisma gives you confidence that is this fragrance right here i used it a lot last year this is very very unusual of me to use a perfume and during it like to the end but this perfume i rocked the shit out of it last year and it was mind-blowing it was amazing and i really enjoyed it and it's still on my sexy my top sexy perfumes for ladies so if you haven't tried baccarat rich 540 wrong i'm <laughs> gonna try it asap because you don't want to miss out on this juice at all that's baccarat rich 540 by mfk let's move to the newer ones in my collection number three on my list is montal Restrito Intense Cafe Guys, if you want to smell edible Like you want people to smell you and feel like eating you up This is this fragrance like it is very Sensual if you're looking for a coffee perfume. This is it. This smells like coffee mixed with warm milk Just you know that vibe. This is what it is. This is the Ristretto Intense Cafe, the regular Montal Intense Cafe. I tried it, but it smells similar to Roses Vanille by Mansara, and I was like, I need something different. I need something that smells different. And I mean, it doesn't really have um, um, coffee as much as they say in the name for the um, regular Intense Cafe. So I decided to try a Ristretto, and Ristretto gave me what I was looking for. Gave me the coffee vibes I was looking for. So this is just coffee in a bottle. Let me quickly describe what the fragrance is. The main accords of this fragrance is, is coffee, rose, vanilla, warm, spicy, caramel, sweet, powdery, musky, floral, and woody. Um, it's described as a an amber vanilla fragrance. It has top notes of coffee and Turkish red rose, middle notes of roasted coffee beans, French rose and woodsy notes, uh, base notes of vanilla caramel white musk and amber this is a warning to whoever is watching this video if you don't want people to eat you up don't wear this please because it is just so intoxicating it's just so inviting i love a coffee fragrance i love coffee and i love vanilla so just imagine vanilla mixed with coffee that is the, the, this fragrance the coffee note is very pronounced in this fragrance just like i i said it denotes the, um, the top note it has coffee needs in the middle note it has coffee beans as well so there's a huge amount of coffee in this fragrance and i love a good coffee fragrance this is just very sensual very seductive very edible see i don't wear this perfume to just anywhere which is when i want to feel sexy you know feel edible 
that's when I wear this fragrance and not just for anybody you know it's just only on emergency <laughs> just so it can serve its purpose so this is just a perfect gourmet coffee vanilla scent if you if you like something like that you're going to love this if you need an intense coffee fragrance go for this to me this is the perfect coffee scent so that's it ristretto intense cafe by montal so number two spot on my list this particular fragrance throughout last year the hype on it was crazy you will not drink water and drop cup you will turn and hear this fragrance you will turn and see this perfume i'm like like i read the notes of the regular and i was like am i sure i'm going to like this i wasn't really moved to get it even though the bottle is like so pretty and then when the tents came out and it had vanilla in it anything with vanilla just counts me in i decided to get this fragrance and the fragrance is no other than ysl libre i did a comparison video of this and the og I would link it up so you can go and binge watch but this is my favorite out of the two it's a very sexy sultry vanilla fragrance it is very intoxicating it has that lavender in it but it's not like a childish you know smell smelling vanilla it's very mature it's very sexy very grown up ish and just perfect it's just perfection in a bottle so I'm just quickly going to describe what this fragrance smells like. So this is Libre Intense by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it has me in a cut of vanilla, white floral, sweet lavender, aromatic citrus, amber, powdery, floral, and animalic. It is described as an amber fougere fragrance for women. Um, it has top notes of lavender, mandarin orange, and bergamot. It has middle notes of lavender, tonishan, orange blossom jasmine sandbag and orchid and then it has base of um, madagascar vanilla tonka bean ambergreen and vetiver so in the top you definitely get that lavender and mandarin orange which is just like a perfect blend and then it becomes kind of fresh in the mid with that um bergamot lavender in this fragrance kind of what you get um, more but all the notes are well blended well balanced you cannot pick out one particular thing you perceive in this fragrance and then the base note is that madagascar vanilla which is what i love so much it is more like a salt tree vanilla it's not like your typical clawing sweet vanilla fragrance this is not a sweet vanilla fragrance if you're looking for a sweet fragrance this is not it it's a sultry sexy mature vanilla fragrance is very intoxicating very sexy from the bottle already you already you know that this is something that will just make you feel like a sexy independent woman that's you know it's just very feminine and very down to earth libre is actually a french word that means free this is a very unique scent guys spray this only on special occasions you know that special occasion that you know you need your sexy fragrances for that's when you spray these fragrances if you want a sexy perfume that is mature go for this and you will thank me you'll come back and thank me number one spot on my list which is a recent love i got this fragrance recently but it has gone really fast and the fragrance is no other than label like just look at this bottle doesn't it just embody femininity like a sexy woman that you know has all her clothes are in the right places like it's just like a perfect perfume bottle and it just says a lot by the time you see this bottle you would know that this is a sexy perfume so this is la belle by john paul gautier it is a very sexy um sweet fragrance that is not your typical sweet fragrance if i'm to describe it the top note is what i love more about this fragrance it smells like burnt popcorn I don't know if it's just me that gets it but this fragrance smells like bones cup popcorn in the top and i love that top so much but unfortunately that top doesn't stay long throughout the, the, the fragrance it's very intense in the top but i think it becomes subtle and allows other notes to um overpower it throughout the fragrance but i wish that bones popcorn smell 
remain throughout this fragrance because it just blew my mind away i really loved it so let me just quickly describe what the fragrance smells like so the main accords of this fragrance is vanilla fruity sweet aquatic aromatic woody powdery earthy fresh and green anything with vanilla i told you guys count me in so it's described as an amber vanilla fragrance the top notes are pear and bergamot i think that bronze popcorn is the pear right i don't know and then the middle notes is uh, floral notes and leather then the base notes are vanilla vetiver amber and musk guys anytime i wear this fragrance it just makes me feel very sweet like a sweet lady you know rich and like one ajebo girl ajebo rich girl so uh, the vibes it gives me in the base so it starts off with that pear and bergamot which in my my nose smells like buns popcorn which i love so much it's very weird that i love the smell of buns popcorn if there was caramel in this fragrance i would have probably felt that that was what i was smelling in the top but there's no caramel on this fragrance it just has this very sweet it's a very sweet fragrance but not your typical sweet like Victor and Ruff bonbon sweet this is just a very sexy sweet fragrance that is very intoxicating very sensual you know if you want to feel like a sexy woman I mean look at the bottle alone the bottle tells you that spray me and you feel like this bottle right here you feel sexy and feel like you know a queen that you are so that's um label by john paul gautier amazing fragrance try any of these fragrances you're going to love 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 them well, those are my five top sexy fragrances in 2021 if you have more sexy fragrances please comment i have a lot of sexy fragrances actually but i'm not able to mention everything i want to know your sexy fragrances because i love to smell sexy so comment your favorite sexy fragrances in the comments if you have tried any of the ones i've mentioned please let me know what you think about them how you like them what wearing a sexy perfume got you into did it put you inside trouble did it cause any havoc or did somebody's son find you after wearing these fragrances please let me know in the comment section unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode i hope you learned one or two things i hope you were able to pick out one sexy fragrance that you would love hopefully more videos like this are going to be coming up on the channel don't forget to um, like this video comment down below subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends don't enjoy this this content alone if you have more content you would love me to um, review or more perfumes you love me to review please comment in the comment section thank you for tuning in to bella's perfume diaries sexy woman edition see you on my next episode bye